Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th, Monday through Thursday. This is a general reading. Now, you know when I am, work, when I am reading for Monday through Thursday, again, I use my two Radley Valentine decks. I'll use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main reading. I will pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. A couple of things before we start our readings. One is on the 15th, Mercury enters into Pisces at 627 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mercury, remember, Mercury is all about your communication. Um, Pisces has kind of that duality to it. You know, in one way, one of the fishies are going up to the light, and the other is kind of swimming more into that, um, you know, that deeper area. And they are connected. So what does that mean? You know, you know just be aware that you can have, there can be some emotional um, conversations going on. There, you know, you might find yourself or might find your, yourself either giving or on the receiving side of some of the, you know, very deep emotions and thoughts. Um, it will, you know, if we listen and if we use this energy to, um, to cleanse, it will be very clarifying. And, you know, this will help us to see, you know, beyond the fog. Now, again, remember, I know Saturn and Aquarius, I mean, yeah, Saturn and Aquarius, reality versus, um, versus delusion so or illusion and this is going to be one of those things but again it there is an emotional component to it we may not want to listen we may not want to uh to give that information either i did tell you that on the 20th march um if i didn't airy season begins at 5 38 a.m again eastern standard time i do think that this week this week we're ending the astrological year and I do believe that as we end the astrological year, new things, new wonderful things, positive things will be popping up with our Aries. Okay? Okay. So, let's start the readings now. Hello, my Tauruses. How are you? Yes, we are entering into the last week of Pisces season. And that means that Aries season is next. And then... Your season. So let's see what we have for this week for my Tauruses. Here we go. One, two, and three. Reversed, reversed, and reversed. Strong energy, of course, for my Tauruses. Are you feeling that new moon? I would think that you would be, and I think that there's a lot of um, anticipation for you. Anyway, Let's see what we have here. Reverse cards, strong energy. Here we go. First card is Four of Raphael. Now, Raphael is water energy. It is our Pisces, Scorpio. It's also our um, Cancer energy, fluid, emotional. Raphael has a dreamy energy to it. It does have a psychic energy to it. A four does have some stability with this because the four legs of a table it has some organization with it also the only thing about the four of Raphael is kind of like it, it, it's it and I think didn't you get this just recently the four of Raphael it's you know, it might have been the four of cups it might have been the four of water it's kind of like that in between stage it's that I don't want to go I don't want I you know what I have does not satisfy me I don't necessarily know that I want to go it's just kind of that over that it's like that in between it's there's some dissatisfaction here there's this am I ready to make some changes a lot of this even though you may not see or feel the the energy of change around you it is happening it is happening um, you know and with this new moon this is that time you know request request but um, it is happening. It's just remember with the moon oh, over there, the moon. Remember that on the other side, there is, you know, we don't know what's on that other side of the moon. You know, we don't know. Things happen behind the scenes. Things happen in that supernatural. You know, and, and part of this is, my Taurus, is you want to be more in the natural. You don't, you know, it always feels a little uncomfortable when you 
delve more into that supernatural, okay? Because part of it, you know, again, you're an earth sign. So being an earth sign is kind of like you can see it, you can touch it. That's what you believe. But you're so strongly psychic that you, you know, sometimes you doubt yourself. Anyway, I'm going down a rabbit uh, rabbit hole with this. The Four of Raphael is, again, it's kind of like, you know, I'm not necessarily satisfied. I'm not really ready, or maybe I am ready, but maybe even what's coming, I'm not really satisfied. It's in that in-between stage, okay? It's in, in, And part of it is you've got to make some choices. What do you have to really? You can stay here for a while. Many times over, you can just stay where you're at. You don't have to move. And with the energy, it's not necessarily pushing, but with Mercury in Pisces, you may be looking at yourself and facing some really hard truths. Um, or, you know, so, so you might have to really re, reconfigure is what I'm getting, reconfigure, not refigure, but reconfigure what that plan is for you and where you want to go. Because again, to you know, what happened a year ago, you were on such a brink of so many things to happen. And now, but the thing that now, if you look back, some of those things aren't as exciting as they might have been. You know, if they were, if they were to come to you right now, they're not quite as exciting. So, you know, there's, there is some contemplation, but I also am getting the word reconfigure. Okay, anyway. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. And I really like that. I like that for you for this week, for you to look into that, you know, into that unknown, into those possibilities, okay? Be aware of your own emotions. Next card here. <laughs> Archangel Metatron. You get this periodically. Metatron is believed to have been Enoch before the flood, talked with God, then was brought up to the heavenlies. So Metatron, somebody for you to, uh, you know, to call upon, especially this week. And this is when, you know, you want prayer, meditation, however, whatever that is, you know, to your higher power, your guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is. You know, when you're asking for help, well, they're sending you Archangel Metatron. So, you know, Metatron's a little bit more realistic, though, you know, because Metatron walked on Earth. So I'm kind of getting this, uh, I'm kind of getting that Metatron would be really good for you, my Tauruses, because they're kind of, you know, I feel like Metatron's there to just kind of like say, get real now, Taurus. What is it that you want? No wishy-washy here. No wishy-washy. Let's get done. Let's do this, Okay. I feel that there's kind of a stern or strong energy from Metatron just kind of saying, I'm not, no, no, no time to, no, 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 no time to sit and no time for self-pity. Let's get things moving, okay? So, leap of faith, remember zero. Um, I just was talking about that last time. It has a universal energy. It also has a God energy, okay? So, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy, your last card here, oops, that was reversed, sorry. And this is your energy, Queen of Ariel. Now, Ariel's your energy. It's also Virgo and Capricorn. Very strong, solid energy, okay? And when you want to talk about believing in yourself, the Queen of Ariel believes in herself, regardless male or female. It doesn't matter. The Queen has an underlying energy of water, which is emotional, so we talked about that already. Um, but this is also the practicality. This is also, so this could be about your home, it could be about your work, job, however you make your money, but this is very solid energy. And this is where it's kind of like Metatron's giving you a kick in the pants and basically you're like, no, I, you know, you know, maybe this was a little wishy-washy, maybe this was in my in-between stage. Again, I needed the kick in the pants and again, <laughs> the Queen of Ariel, you stand in your glory, you stand in your power, okay? And you get it done, you get things done. Anyway, the but you can also, you know, you're, you're doing it good. You're doing, you're not necessarily being, um, you know, overly forceful, but you are being assertive. So, mature, practical, generous, happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. So... Yeah, Metatron, I don't normally feel this with Metatron's energy here, but Metatron's energy, I'm picking up this like, no, this is enough, enough of this. You know, if angels smoked, I could almost see Metatron with a big, a big cigar and, you know, rah, 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 you know and kind of a, let's get this done now. Anyway, 
Maybe you know somebody that that's about because this is, Metatron isn't taking any, um, you know, Metatron's not taking any excuses. That's what I'm picking up from this. And I mean, it's such a lovely card, leap of faith, wonderful. And it's like, no, get it done. Yes. Do not wallow. Do not wallow, my Tauruses. I can't, you know, again. Anyway, this one's reversed. Let's see. Here we go. Queen of Fire. So you got the queens, okay? You've got the queens. You have the queen of earth, the queen of pentacles. You have the queen of fire. You have the queen of Gabriel. You have the queen of rods or, or sometimes wands, okay? So this is, you know, this is fire energy. Again, I told you about the water underlying energy, emotional energy. Fire is passionate, burning, it's determined. So whatever Metatron's telling you, you just pick it up. You know, you pick it up and you get things done. You get it done. Now, fire is our um, Aries, which we're going to be going into very shortly. It's uh, Leo and it's Sagittarius. Passionate, burning, determined. It is, it's the passion. It's the fire in the belly. It's the, let's get things done. Let's go. Believe in yourself. It's time to fly. Okay? Okay. Confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So what I love about this for you is you go from being wishy-washy to be uber confident, uber passionate. I don't know why I keep saying uber, but you know, uber very much, very strongly confident, strongly um, passionate in yourself. And so this could be in the beginning of the week. You might be kind of eh, and then you get, you know, you pick yourself up and you get things moving for yourself. I love this. I do love this. So we have four zero queen queen. Yeah, so let's see what crystal or energy will be helpful for my Tauruses. Here we go. And we'll see if I have one of these. I have so many crystals and then I pull something out and I don't have it. This one is reversed or maybe I don't know that I have it. Here we go. Shungite. I do have Shungite and I know that I have Shungite. Here we go. That's not Shungite. This is Shungite. I love Shungite. Here we go. Protection from modern ills, grounding, everyday healing and purifying. I do like Shungite. They also say, what is this um, for the electronic med um, magnetic energies, um, EM, whatever, that this is very protective from that also. So, you know, it, um, it's good and it's a good one to have. It was not that expensive. I think this one was like two, three bucks. Okay, from where I get my from my little from my little crystal store. Anyway, my Tauruses, interesting stuff. I love I love the progression of the week for you. I love that. And again, I feel like Metatron. Yeah, get up, get up, Taurus, get up. Time for you to get busy. Anyway, I I've never heard Metatron do that before. Anyway. My Tauruses, please remember, like, share, subscribe, because it does help. It really does. So thank you. As always, my Tauruses, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.